At Man City Fan TV, we're really pleased to promote this wonderful sketchwork artwork by a lady called Leslie Ross. You can follow Leslie uh, on Twitter at 111Leslie111 and also follow her on Facebook and Twitter at 9320Art. Hi guys, it's Andy from Man City Fan TV. Well, Pep's press conference prior to the Watford game uh, tomorrow uh, has just uh, taken place and obviously there's the embargo until 10.30 tonight. But some of the questions I'd like to go through when talking about the team, he said uh, how much, uh, one question was, how much stronger uh, mentally are the players since you actually joined Manchester City? And he said, I would like to think that uh, they're better and they're certainly stronger than they were before. Uh, another question was, can you uh, work on that? And uh, somebody said in Spanish about resilience, and uh, he said, no, it's not. It's not just about tactics. Um, there's a lot more to it. Uh, resilience is one of those. Uh, but uh, yes, uh, we are working on those things. Then the question came up, the elephant in the room, about FFP allegations. And he said, the club, listen, the club has made a statement. Uh, they've been open with UEFA uh, and they can decide. And he said, uh, I trust the club a lot. Uh, and uh, the whole issue around in, um, FFP and things. And I trust the club to solve the involvement with whatever allegations have basically been made and he just he, he wouldn't answer any more questions he just basically said that you know the club are going to deal with this um another question was are you concerned about the uh, the legacy his legacy about pep guardiola uh, about what uh, what fifa or uefa whoever decide to do uh, and he said i'm comfortable with it i'm totally happy so um no actual sort of panic stations about Pep Guardiola clearly we all know that he definitely has been speaking to the club about this he knows exactly what's been the allegations and everything else and he, he clearly knows the, the, the club's stance on this so he seems like really comfortable about it so I think we all know as City fans that uh, uh, the, there are allegations that have been made. Um, how they the allegations have been brought about is another thing. And, you know, we'd like to see a chrono chronological order of all of these documents uh, that have come out uh, from Der Spiegel and the footy leaks. And uh, we'll take it from there. But uh, City seem very confident about it. It'd be interesting. You know, I don't want to jump on this sort of, you know, like this Twitter debate of saying, you know, bring it on and... City will just bat you away. No, I think it's more serious than that. Uh, but I do believe that Manchester City and their legal team will definitely deal uh, with UEFA, FIFA and the allegations that have been made. Uh, and I think they've been biding their time. At the end of the day, they had no requirement to make a statement about this because... Um, Regardless of what some of the journalists out there have, have actually pointed out uh, for the last few months that UEFA are investigating us. No, it only came to light yesterday uh, with the announcement that UEFA were actually um, going to investigate these potential claims against Manchester City. So it just goes to show you two months worth of journalistic sort of like pitter patter saying about, you know, we are being investigated. No, we weren't until yesterday, until it was officially announced by UEFA, uh, FIFA, uh, on the allegations that have been made. And City came back with a statement to say, we're comfortable with it. And we're hoping that uh, that gives us the opportunity to clarify and clear up all this nonsense that's actually been um, posted against us by their Spiegel, footy leaks and journalists alike. So journalists out there, they need to be a little bit careful that there isn't any comeback on them. Uh, and I'm sure, I'm sure some of the certain quotes in certain uh, newspaper outlets uh, have been very careful with their and selective with their wording because they know that if City win this case, um, they'll be coming for them next if they've said anything that's out of turn. So moving on. Talking about the fitness uh, of players for tomorrow, uh, KDB is not fit, uh, John Stones is not fit and neither is Fernandinho, which I think we knew about, but he said everybody else has been training. 
there was then a question about VAR and uh, talking about defenders and everything that happened with the United game. And he said, we saw it at Schalke. Um, and they said, do you agree with it? And he said, I'm a fan of technology. I'm a, I'm a fan of VAR. So, you know, we know about it and that's just the way it is. So he was quite pragmatic with that particular question. Uh, talked about Watford tomorrow prior to the um, uh, embargo um, for 10.30 tonight or tomorrow and he said uh, that they've done an incredible job uh, they've got lots of physicality one-on-ones with the likes of Troy Deeney very organised uh, he thinks the manager's done a great job uh, he said but we've got three weeks after this particular game with the international break uh, everything is very close it's massive um, so basically we need to take these points move on get everybody rested um, and uh, you know fit and ready again for the start after the international break he was finally asked before the embargo about young players and said look the United game the other night uh, they brought on some young players are you confident in the young players if they need to come in he said I'm absolutely confident um, you need to uh, we need to uh, if we need to throw them in uh, I've got no problem whatsoever he said don't forget some of these young kids um, have played in the Carabao Cup as well so, and they did really really well so from a Pep Guardiola point of view he's quite bullish about it he's confident um, in the club uh, Manchester City uh, Caldoun and the board uh, and the owner and everything with regards to these uh, allegations uh, if you want to know a little bit more about them go over check out the video that I did with Jonathan Northcroft from the Sunday Times and Colin Savage uh, who's wrote lots and lots of articles for King of the Kipax and other outlets uh, is on uh, Twitter at Press Witch Blue uh, and watch the video that we did a couple of days ago it's fascinating absolutely fascinating as it's just been a revelation uh, certainly uh, with all the comments and views I mean we've it's smashed everything that we've done beforehand I mean the the amount of hours and views that have uh, have gone uh, into this particular video on our YouTube channel is just incredible um, it's like you know 25 times anything we've ever done before so um, Ray is going to be speaking to Colin who's going to talk a little bit uh, in brief about uh, the UEFA uh, coming out making a statement about um, about FFP and the investigation so he'll do a quick sort of wrap-up video with Colin uh, it's also put out another video uh, with regards to Vincent Company making his announcement uh, on his testimonial in September which is absolutely amazing news and don't forget we are I'm actually going to see a tackle for Manchester uh, in uh, in Manchester on Monday I'm going to take all the artwork to them at the Hilton Hotel uh, and they're going to take that to Manchester City to the ground and they're going to get all the artwork signed by the players involved so uh, if you haven't check out the video also that we, I did showing you all the particular pieces of artwork um, and get your bids in uh, they've got to be realistic like I said if you check out our Twitter account you'll see the, the latest update bids that have come in already within 24 hours uh, I think there's a £250 bid already for the Centurions post um, $100 for the Mares uh, $100 for the Foden, £100 for the Zinchenko, £50 for the Sane already. And we only sort of posted that late last night. So uh, if you want to bid, comment below this video. But you need to get in touch with us on Twitter. We need a Twitter account uh, to verify who you are. Uh, and uh, yeah, they'll be posted anywhere in the world for free. And they will come with a letter of authentication and provenance on, on the actual signing of the actual images, which is fantastic news. So anyway, Sally for a Man City Fan TV. Don't forget, we're nearly at the 7K. Don't forget to subscribe, click notification, and we'll see you tomorrow at Watford. Six, 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 six.